When Lionel is so darn cheap, they couldn't even afford to print a Chase Elliott image on the freaking race win card. Yeah. And not to mention, you got broken parts on this diecast too, but we're going to enjoy this video anyways. Here is Chase Elliott's 2020 Charlotte race winning Kelly Blue Book Chevrolet Camaro. Hell, Johnny folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again in Holy crap, it is time for our first 2020 124 scale diecast review. And today's car is going to be Chase Elliott's Wednesday, I mean Thursday night, Charlotte Alsco, what is it, 500, 300, whatever it is, winning diecast. Now, this is freaking awesome, guys, okay? And I have a kind of a funny story to tell about this uh, this diecast and this particular NASCAR race as well. But this was his first uh, win at uh, the Charlotte Motor Speedway Oval configuration. This was also his first one of his championship season, I might add. Uh, but this was also, I know, a lot of, lot of, lot of stuff uh, correlating with this freaking race. When he won this Charlotte race, he became the first ever NASCAR Cup Series driver to win at the Roval and the Oval. And in fact, he did it back to back. So uh, he did it pretty not back to back because of the Coke 600, but he, let's be honest, he should have won that Coke 600. They made the dumbest call I've ever seen in the in 2020. Um, freaking pit in there. They would have easily won that race. Anyway, so here's kind of a little bit of a, a, a fun uh, nugget for everyone. Here's the 2020 race schedule. You can pretty much chalk it up to about, well, let's say Atlanta to about, uh, yeah, around there. Basically, take that entire chunk of the schedule, wad it up, and throw it. Because, I mean, absolutely, freaking lootly man. Uh, it was a crazy year, but with Chase Elliott going to victory lane, it was, uh, it was business as usual. Nah, I'm just kidding. I love this freaking driver, man. He's my favorite dude, and uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, 2020 Kelly Blue Book Charlotte race winning die cast right out of the box you know i must say the the 2020 box design is very plain i'll be honest with you like you know the, the cup series banner and all that stuff like i just feel like something's missing you know i mean me and race day 2011 original big brian we, we've we've talked about this probably a thousand times but i would love to see the 2009 packaging back on the 124s honestly you know having the the, the paint scheme incorporated into the box design I think that would have been a really cool thing for them to do in 2020. But, I mean, if, you know, 2020 was kind of a crazy year, you know. Logistically, they might not have been able to, you know, financially because of, obviously, you know, every business took a fat L in 2020, but it's okay. So, go ahead and get the box out. Ooh, it does have the card in there, guys. It does have the card. We'll take a look at that in... Oh, my God. They went even cheaper on this. Holy sheesh. Lionel continues to get cheaper and cheaper with their die casts. And before we, un, you know, take the, the lid off the die cast here, let's take a look at the accessories like I usually do. So you got this uh, thing with the 2017 stock renders, uh, build your own virtual garage. You know, I feel like Lionel could incorporate some sort of uh, tie-in with the NASCAR video game franchise to the NASCAR die cast. Like, oh, you buy the 164 scale die cast of Chase Elliott's, um, I don't know patriotic car or whatever you get it in the nascar game for free i think that'd be a cool tie-in uh this is uh some sort of return policy i didn't even know they actually sent these uh little return little pieces here that's actually really interesting that's something new with the 2020s but this oh, come on man it's like they couldn't spare like a drop of ink on this okay so this is the 2020 um whatever this is the 2020 uh, I guess card design now. I don't know if it's like this for like the Daytona 500 or the pre you know chaos um, You know race winning die cast, but I will say though not have a chase Elliott in victory lane with a trophy is really stupid If you ask me uh, considering they did they took probably a hundred photos of victory lane heck I got the photos from my freaking thumbnail when I did the 164 review. And of course, if you want to see that die cast, you can check it out down below. The full 164 scale review for the chase Elliott 2020 Charlotte win. So you got Chase Elliott, Alsco, Uniforms 500. You know, really cool to see 500 back on a Charlotte Motor Speedway race. Because I've always said, I don't mind the Roval, right? But please, for the love of God, don't get rid of the 500 miler. I said they should have a doubleheader. Have the Roval Sunday night, have the 500 miler Friday night or Saturday night. Whatever. I think that'd be freaking awesome. But you know what? 
That's just me. Let's look at Concord, North Carolina, May 27, 2020. Time of race, 2 hours, 29 minutes, and 23 seconds. Pretty efficient there. Started 19th, 208 laps for 312 miles. Pretty much a, a New Hampshire uh, length in terms of race. Uh, number of cautions, 7 cautions. Holy crap. Uh, laps led by Elliott, 28, and the margin of victory was 2.2 seconds. Elliott survives rain and lightning to win at Charlotte. Chase Elliott took the lead in the final laps of the Owls Co. Uniforms 500 at Charlotte Motor Speedway to clinch his first NASCAR Cup Series win of the 2020 season, which, of course, was his championship season, which is so freaking cool, guys. Like, I cannot wait to get the championship uh, die cast. That's going to be freaking awesome. Wheeling the number nine Kelly Blue Book Chevrolet under the lights, Elliott survived a lightning storm and a rain delay. Pfft, survived a lightning storm. Oh, God. They're really desperate to put titles on these cards. I mean, I, why couldn't they just say he rebounded from the Coke 600 complete fiasco and the bonehead call by the crew chief for whoever to bring that nine Chevrolet down pit road. That's what they should have put. Instead, they're trying to make it seem like he's a Weather Channel reporter. You know, you want to know who, who survived the rain delay and all that BS? The cats who went to the fall Texas race because that was a freaking gargantuan rain delay. Holy crap. I was the one poor sap that had a goat that went to that race. I mean, we tried to stay as much as we could, but they they freaking raced on a Wednesday. We had to get out of Dodge on a Monday. Holy cow. Rain delay put his Hendrick Motorsports team in victory line. Elliott led a total 28 laps, and his margin of victory was way more than two seconds. Way more than two seconds? Come on, man. Margin of victory was way more than two seconds. Uh, look, I don't know if they have an intern writing this stuff, but like, come on, man. I've seen Instagram designers that do this crap for free, make better artwork. I, I, I'm just, I know I'm just, you know, splitting hairs here, but I mean, when you compare it to the 2019 style ones where you have the driver image with the trophy and all that good jazz, like, they literally are posing a victory lane with the trophy. Where is that? You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is freaking great. Look at this. It's the plastic here. It's actually bent. Wow, that's... Well, uh, at least they, you know, had a plastic case to protect it, so I do appreciate that, but I mean, it kind of makes me concerned. Why is this bent? Wow. Uh, also, this is the uh, 2020 race winning sticker. I, I usually just don't use these. I just kind of put them uh, back in the box, but uh, wow. Wow. So we got the 2020 Chase Elliott Kelly Blue Book diecast out of the case. And uh, we're going to do a quick unscrew of the screws underneath. And we're going to get this diecast ready for display for all you awesome people out there. Wow! Dude, this freaking diecast is absolutely beautiful, man. I tell you what, the race wear grime on this car, man. It's, it's just a little bit of a haze from the first glance. But this dying cast is absolutely beautiful. And I just got to say, man, look at that back wheel. I don't know what it is about that back wheel. But when you look at that with that 2020 Camaro mold, I mean, great job line on this. I, I got to say, great job on the tooling for this die cast. Now, it, it might be a little bit harder to see because the color is a little bit darker. Uh, you know, the blue or whatnot. But I got to say, man, what a fantastic paint scheme. And now, Chase Elliott is officially won in Sun Energy, Sun Energy 1. He won uh, with the little Caesars. Uh, he won with Mountain Dew. He's won with Kelly Blue Book. And obviously, he's won a boatload with the Napa Camaro. Uh, yeah, that was a poor rhyme there. But a uh, uh, little funny uh, thing that I found here. I think this is like a piece of the tire. Uh, like when they're when they're spiling and cutting out the you know the tires in the factory. Whenever I like put the die cast on my desk, this kind of fell off. I think the back left rear. So. Uh, I think that was a little piece of rubber built up from the factory, but you know what? It's pretty cool anyway, so I tell you what, man. This die cast is absolutely beautiful, man. I mean, just just the mold of this die cast. This is the first 2020 die cast I have, by the way, in the 124 scale. And wow, bro. I mean, I never even noticed this, but the whole dashboard here, like, you can even see, it's, it's super hard to read, but there's, there's actual red gauges and whatnot, like, this die cast is absolutely beautiful. Now, we're gonna do a full, uh, die cast review of this car, so like I said, this is a Chase Elliott Charlotte race to win, it's not supposed to be mint condition, you know, in terms of race wear and whatnot, but... 
there's like there's just something about light race wear die casts that are really freaking cool you know i love cakes die casts but i also appreciate the very light race wear and unfortunately though for the collector 2020 would be a bad year for the race version uh market because a lot of people like confetti that's the reason why they buy the die cast they want confetti and damage well yeah, you'll get damage still, but you're not going to get confetti on almost every single 2020, unfortunately, this year. And this happens to be one of them. Now, I understand, you know, with the protocols, they can't do the confetti, but I mean, I kind of still wish they would have just done it anyways. I mean, you know, I, I don't know. I wish they could have found a way to do it. But anyways, got Kelly Blue Book, official guide right there. The blue has a very, very, very fine metallic blue to it. It's very hard to see underneath the clear coat. I mean, this thing even has a freaking mirror in it, bro. This is a absolutely beautiful die cast. And, you know, for, for the newer collector, the newer viewer, the newer subscriber, and if you haven't already, uh, greatly appreciate it. Um, I, I tell you what, though. This is something I like to do every time I get to see Chase uh, win a, a, a cup race. I like to get the 124 for it. But if he doesn't win a cup race, or you, you know, if he does win a race, and I, I didn't watch the race because I was at work or something, I don't get the 124. This right here is going to drive me, it's going to keep me up all night right here, guys. Something is not right here. Look at the headlight line here. Goes across, goes across. What is this? I mean, come on, Lionel. This is a joke. I mean, what is this? You see what I'm saying? Like, it just completely cuts off the flow of the freaking die cast there on the front end. But that's Lionel quality for you. But uh, overlooking that, you can see plenty of race wear grime. You got the Hendrick Motorsports decals all scraped up. You got your Gen 6 2020 Camaro uh, canards here. You got 3M. You got Sunoco. Absolutely beautiful, man. I mean, the front of this die cast, very lean. But I love that freaking detail, bro. Detail is such an underrated commodity when it comes to these die casts. So over to the left side of this 2020 Camaro, you can see the number nine there, NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR race car, Goodyear, love this, salute the troops now. Obviously this wasn't the Coke 600, even though he should have won that race, honestly, he could have swept both of the Charlotte races. Um, They used the same tires that they did at the Coke 600, they pretty much just shipped the same ones in. There's no reason for them to really change the logos, I mean, you're there in Charlotte. I mean, it was it was really interesting. It was like a mini Charlotte Speed Weeks because you had like the Xfinity race, the Truck Series race, the Coke 600, then the Alsco 500. It was like four straight days of, of, of NASCAR racing. It was pretty cool. And I, I definitely love the Coke 600. But uh, this, this was a really just awesome Charlotte win. You know, really reminds me of Jay McMurray in the 2002 UAW uh, GM Quality 500. Jeff Burton 08 Bank of America 500 win, you know. Just really cool stuff. Got uh, Chase Elliott right there. Got the uh, Georgia flag. Exalta, Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tools, Simeons, and Cincinnati Electric. You got Valvoline, Kelly Blue Book. That decal is interesting to say the least. I don't know if it's supposed to be crooked or not because maybe it bent some sheet metal or something. Hopefully that's the case. Uh, the American Ethanol Ring. Uh, well, it's, it looks like an American Ethanol Ring. That's great. Uh, got Napa Auto Parts right there. Universe Hooters Mountain Dew. Look at that clear coat, guys. Absolutely beautiful. And for the, the collector out there, here's a little bit of a closer look at those tires. You know, I think that's probably the most underrated aspect when it comes to the 124 scale die cast is the tires. You know, that's something a lot of people probably wouldn't give two craps about. But putting a little, you know, the wheel, uh, the wheel weights on there, you know, putting the little Sharpie logos and everything, those are just... I freaking love that. I, I honestly do. I really... Do appreciate the tension to detail. Of course, you do see some uh, some race wear damage here, probably a little bit of scrapes, some dirt, but you do see some burnout damage as well. That's probably a reason why the blue on here is a little bit weird because it probably rolled up a little bit. Over here to the caboose of this die cast, and you know I mentioned uh, about being able to watch you know Chase Elliott win this race or whatnot. Originally, I was gonna miss this race. I was not happy about it. It was a Wednesday night, right? And I was having to work. Well, they were going to run the Charlotte Cup race that night. I wasn't happy about it. Well, guess what? I was hoping, I was praying, and sure enough, it rained out. I couldn't believe it. I was so tickled pink, and literally, I was off the next day that Thursday, right? I have Thursdays off, so guess what? I got to watch this race live on my off day in the middle of the week when I was not even supposed to, and my favorite driver gets his first Charlotte Oval win I couldn't believe it, and that was an extremely tough week as a Chase Elliott fan, because after the Coke 600 race, which 
I'll be honest with you, I was so freaking, I was just dead after that race. I was, I was so upset because Elliot threw it away. And for him to come back and redeem himself, it kicked off a championship bout. So you got Kelly Blue Book, KellyBlueBook.com, the trusted resource. Camaro ZL1, 1LE, got the number 9, and Valvolade. And unfortunately, Mountain Dew, from what I hear, is not coming back in 2021. So uh, if you have any Chase Elliott Mountain Dew diecasts, uh, well, guess what? That's probably going to be the last ones you see because PepsiCo pulled the plug, unfortunately. God, this diecast is beautiful. I mean, just, just take a look at this. Just take a look at this. The blue, the gold. Look at the exhaust panel right here, which I love so much. You know, to the 164 custom makers out there, a lot of people overlook this. The, just painting a black square or a rectangle here where the exhaust ports do it because every single time you get a race wear, uh, race wing die cast, they always have these. They don't put them on your normal ARCs or Gold Series 164s. It's a very minor detail to me that really completes the raced version look. And I just got to say, man, this die cast is so well proportioned in terms of paint scheme. You know, it's true it's not the best paint scheme in the woods, but I tell you what, though, it, it, it definitely puts food in the picnic basket. But I, I, I tell you what, man, it, this is freaking awesome, man. This is this is freaking awesome. Small specks of dirt, probably some rubber built up. Uh, of course, it rained the day before, so there was probably a lot of trash on the track. And, uh, you know, obviously trying to get the cars restarted and everything. Uh, you know, there was a lot to it. Of course, got Cup Series right there. Get Goodyear. Do see some more uh, tire, uh, you know, marks. However, that came about. Could be on pit road. You never know. You, you do see a little bit right here on the right rear as well. Lionel does a lot of things wrong, but there's some things they really do well at. I, I know the quality of the 124 scale die cast has, has significantly dropped it off the face of the earth. It really has. It's fell off the face of the earth. But, you know, I still love to collect these things. And, um... It, I just I just freaking love it, bro. I just freaking love it, and I, I tell you what, though. Th I got this die cast at, uh, what is it, Circle B die casts, or then it was called Plan B Sales, but um, later on they opened up uh, Circle B die cast. But anyways, I got this die cast from there. I highly recommend going there, because if you go there, um, they're cheaper than Lionel, and you can get free shipping. If you use that, uh, what, what is it, promo code NDCS. I kid you not, like, it's literally the promo code. Um... <laughs> I, that's what I use, and I get free shipping. So instead of you paying, what, 55 or 60 at Lionel Racing, then another $10 to ship it, plus tax. Uh, go to Circle B Diecast, you'll pay 55 flat, and that's it. Don't have to deal with tax, don't have to deal with uh, either shipping BS. Nope, it's all right there for you. So a little bit of a, uh, a money saving opportunity for y'all. So you get the number nine right here on the roof. Very, very nice. So we'll take a look at the roof flaps here. Very, very cool. Love to see how the, the decals, like you see, oh, how the heck does that line up? And it lines up perfectly. Beautiful. Of course, you got your Cup Series banner here. And this is going to have names on the front of them in 2021, ironically enough. And I'm freaking hyped for the Daytona 500. Oh, my God. It's so close. Um, oh, that's cool. Well, this roof flat part's already broke. That's cool. See that? It's already got a broken hinge. So the quality with this die cast, you know, I'm starting to, I'm starting to really understand why they put a return form in here because they sent me a probably a, a, a half broken die cast <laughs> oh lord so they made 2016 of these all all kidding aside of course uh they made 2016 of these so this is a 650 so this is a midline production uh chase Elliott die cast now when this cat went in the championship i mean I would not be surprised if this die cast went up in value, but you never know. They overproduce these things half the time. Napa Auto Parts right there on the deck lid. And uh, the truck does not open as this is a standard ARC. Now we got the hood open here. And you can take, take a look underneath. You got the Chevrolet uh, bow tie right there. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. You know, this is my first 2020 uh, 124 as well. So I'm kind of taking it all in. Very good engine detail. Plastic caps and all that good jazz that you remove. I like seeing different colors with the air hoses and stuff. I mean, I'm not saying they got to go super extreme 3D printing detail. But honestly, what makes it engine detail so, uh, I would say, appealing to me is different colors, right? The hoses, the, the, the fluid caps. Uh, like, just different things like that to me make such a huge difference. And I hope someday we could actually get um, interior race wear grime. Could you imagine having like dirt and dust built up inside the fender wells that would be incredible 
And uh, in case you're all wondering what the bottom of these die casts look, here is a, a look at the bottom of this. And you know, it's kind of interesting because in 2000 and, uh, 2015, they had metal-based uh, die casts, I believe. I think the 2015 ARCs were metal. Um, but it also had a different color uh, exhaust piece, kind of like a bronze gold. Well, with this, it's, well, honestly, it's, well, kind of like a flat matte black. Also, the, the tire here is kind of interesting how the texture on this tire is different than this one. I, I'm not sure if they, uh, Lionel intentionally does that or not, but I'm not too sure. Anyways, guys, this is a fabulous die cast. I tried to get the best brightness setting I could for it, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and set it down here. I got to say, man, this is a fabulous uh, Chase Elliott piece, and I have all the Chase Elliott... 2021-24s uh, ordered, except for the All-Star one, because that was literally the only race I didn't watch, and honestly, I'm glad I missed that one, because those numbers, but this is an absolutely beautiful die cast, and uh, if you're ever in the market for a Chase Elliott alternate paint scheme, of course, you have the Kansas 2018, which is a beautiful die cast, I might add, but, and that was the final win for Mountain Dew as a primary sponsor, but this is an awesome die cast. We still got the Watkins Glen. Wait, check it. Nope, no Watkins Glen. Nope. Daytona Road Course, and we still have the Charlotte Roval, Martinsville, Phoenix. So we still got four more uh, Cup Series uh, diecast to review there. Uh, that's gonna be very fun, and um, I, I I love doing these things. I really do. I love these diecasts. But like I said, guys, if you're if if you ever like you look at 124s and you're like, oh my god, they're too darn expensive. Go to Circle B Diecast, cut the BS, because you go to Lionel Racing, they'll charge you $60 for an ARC, then they're going to scalp you with shipping, and then they're going to scalp you with tax, you're, 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 you're pretty much paying $65, well guess what, you go over to Circle B Diecast, you get free shipping with the code NDCS, literally, it, it's hilarious how they chose NDCS when NASCAR Door Last Cup Series, it's, it's hilarious, right? Uh, but use that, don't deal with any of the shipping BS, not to mention, it's a pre-order too, so you reserve your copy with all this, and you don't have to pay tax either, so it's absolutely a great buy. It's the cheapest way to get brand new 124s, it really is, and um, I tell you what though, they just started their, their rewards program too, so um, you can even get uh, you know extra points to use to other diecast purchases, but uh, I gotta say man, Lionel absolutely dropped the ball in quality, I mean obviously a this would have never happened in 2008. I, I, I would I would be shocked if we had broken roof hinges from 2008 like that. Um, the, the the absolute the paint job, the decal quality, like the actual like template quality is great. The execution, this is terrible. I I, I think they could have they kind of bent some of the decals here, but you know what? It is what it is, right? Very very blessed and thankful to have it and uh thank you all so much for tuning in today's video i hope you're having a great one out there make sure to like comment and subscribe a question for y'all to ponder in the comment section what was chase elliott's best win in 2020 i, I personally say it was martinsville because martinsville was so clutch phoenix kind of just felt like he was just he was in his own zip code but martinsville man i tell you what man that was bottom of the ninth grand slam I'm excited for the 2021 Cup Series season. Let me know what y'all are thinking about that as well. Hope you're having a great one. Like, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, tell your friends about the Diecast Buffet. And, uh, you know, I'd love to see them uh, check out the channel, too. Have a great one. Diecast Buffet. And uh, no no Chase Elliott photo because having a Chase Elliott photo is frowned upon because we can't spend $0.30 cents worth of ink on a $60 Diecast. Signing off.